You see, the repeated nature of the old covenant showcased sin's perpetual hold on the hearts of mankind. But through Christ's death, he put away sin, as the Hebrew uh, author of the letter to the Hebrews likes to call it. And that's why we can rejoice that sin and death have been defeated. We're no longer required to offer up these sacrifices time after time to outwardly cleanse ourselves from the parasitic relationship that we have with sin. Instead, Christ's death has caused sin to us believers that, that have the Holy Spirit within the body of Christ to ironically almost act in a reverse sense as the old covenant acted to the Israelites. What I mean by that is, through Christ, sin can only affect us outwardly because we have the freedom through Christ to be purified day after day through his one-time sacrifice for us. That is why we can say in confidence that sin has been put away. As we get towards the end of our text here, verses 27 and 28 of chapter 9 points to the fact that Christ also isn't returning once, once more to, to cover more sins, the sacrificing aspect of his salvation plan for us has been completed. Instead, Christ will return to have those that believe in him gathered to himself once and for all, which will fully complete his salvation plan for mankind. The sacrifices of the old covenant were copies of the heavenly things. Because we are sinful beings on earth, the man-made pieces of the earthly tabernacle had to be purified by blood in order for them to be rightly or correctly used in sacrifices for the remission of sins for God's people. Jesus' blood, on the other hand, allows for us to enter into the heavenly tabernacle, not only to be his people, but to receive his spirit. In short, we can summarize all of this tonight by saying that Jesus is better. In our day-to-day -day struggles, though, we can proclaim that Jesus is better. His blood is better than our sin, his sacrifice greater than our penalty, his blamelessness is greater than our guilt. Not only can we find salvation in him, but we can also know that one day we will be gathered to him once for all so that we may abide with him forever.